there are rumors going around the rise of kingdoms community that we're going to be getting not one not two but three new commanders coming soon to rise of kingdoms these rumors stem from a set of images that appear to be skill images but i'm not going to be sharing those images here in this video because one i don't know if those images are real and two if they are real i don't want to get in trouble from lilith but i have spent a significant amount of time looking at these 15 skill images that have been floating around and today i'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on them and why i think we could be getting justinian the great coming soon to rise of kingdoms which is why we have constantine on the screen here and i'm also going to be telling you guys what types of commanders i think they're going to be and how i think one of them could actually impact the open field meta pretty substantially so make sure you stay tuned for that but first if you enjoy videos where we speculate on the future of rise of kingdoms go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video it takes a second it's free it helps the channel a ton and consider subscribing okay now bear with me in this video because i'm going to be talking about this set of images while not showing it to you so I'm going to be describing what they actually look like and the first set of images all appear to be for a female commander so the first one here is a woman three of the five skill images that is four skills one expertise three of them featured the woman okay so it's pretty clear that this will be a female commander there's nothing really in these images that lend to her being a particular troop type it looks like what could be her active skill has a sword in it and then her fourth skill shows a bunch of spears but they could technically be arrows i guess although they're maybe pretty big for arrows but based on everything here it doesn't look like this commander is going to be of a specific troop type and i would be willing to bet that this female commander is going to be a leadership commander her identity is the one that is the most difficult to pin down of these three commanders so we're going to circle back to that speculation in just a moment but the second set of skill images is pretty cut and dry it looks like the active skill actually features the commander that is going to be and that does appear to be justinian the first or justinian the great the reason that it's kind of been narrowed down to a, a byzantine commander is because the second skill apparently uh, it looks like it has a shield there which looks almost identical to this shield that i found on google but not only that in his expertise we see this double eagle with the crowns here so it's pretty cut and dry that the second commander is going to be from the byzantine empire and based on how he looks in his active skill image wearing this specific headdress it's a little bit taller than it would be in this specific image as well but justinian the first or justinian the great does seem to be the most logical for the developers to put into the game because he was also the uh husband of theodora yeah there it is theodora um she's already in the game we know that she is a garrison commander she is a leadership commander and based on these images for what apparently could be justinian uh the greats um there is one skill image that shows a couple of horses with uh you know soldiers with spears uh, but i don't think that that implies that this is a cavalry commander the fourth skill is literally just uh, some fists being put into the air so yet yeah, nothing about this i mean there are horses in one of the skills but we just got cavalry commanders with joan of arc prime so i don't think that they'd be putting cavalry commanders in the game and also um i mean hey if it's theodore's husband that we're talking about it's possible that this is going to be another leadership commander now the final set of images for the third commander and this is the one that i think is going to influence the open field the most shows a few different uh pieces of important imagery the commander himself apparently is in, featured in the expertise skill but it's sort of a side profile so you can't really see exactly what he looks like however the third skill does appear to have a flag from the mughal empire so that sort of narrows things down a little bit the active skill shows an open book the second skill shows siege weapons kind of getting ready to fire at a wall and the fourth skill shows cannons firing so it seems to me like this third commander is going to be an engineering commander from the Mughal Empire. And I think that Babur, I apologize if I really mis mispronounced that, but he seems to be the most likely candidate from what I've seen based on the side profile in the expertise of these images. Uh, and also the book in the active skill you can see he's literally reading a book in this image right here so he must be known for 
some sort of literary contribution whether it was spreading some sort of religion or literacy i don't i don't know i'm not a history guy i have no idea i just play mobile games on youtube okay so if i'm mispronouncing stuff and i'm getting things wrong it's because i'm an idiot and everyone knows it okay but anyway if this is indeed one of the commanders that we're getting and again i think it's pretty cut and dry based on the images here that this is going to be an engineering commander i think that that could be really exciting his fourth skill with the cannons reminds me of the active skill or even the expertise looking image on metmed here except the cannons are actually firing in in the actual image just to give you guys sort of an idea of what it actually looks like of course you may have actually seen these images already floating around discord or on facebook so i, I don't know i'm just not going to put them here in this video but before we talk about why i think the engineering commander is going to make a big difference in the open fields let's talk let's circle back to the first commander the female that we talked about okay very little information here she just looks like a sort of a generic queen there's really no particular symbols that give away her identity i think the closest would be isabella of castile isabella the first the reason that i think that is because in her second skill and her fourth skill it does show that she's wearing a crown but also that she has this some sort of hair covering coming down the back of her of her head as well and you see that a lot with images of Isabella also holding this I don't know if this is a scepter or something again I'm an idiot youtuber okay so you can roast me in the comment section below I have no idea what this fucking thing is called so you you can educate me but um she is holding this in one image and it also is featured in the active skill along with a sword so there's that okay there, there's that going for her um but the thing that makes me believe that this might not actually be isabella is that in three of her images you can see she's wearing armor and there's really no good historical uh, representations of isabella wearing armor in any of these pictures now obviously if she was going to get a painting done of herself she probably would be in her most expensive and beautiful outfit just like the influencers you look at on instagram always show what their most expensive stuff is and not what they wear to work you know what i'm saying i also saw some speculation on discord of it being eleanor of aquitaine Aqu aqua i don't know uh but this one i'm not super sure on this either also there's not that much information about this individual although i guess based on her uh effigy it does look like she might fit the bill so it's possible but uh again I i'm not really sure and this is why i think that the skill images of the female commander are the most difficult to sort of pin down but my conclusion for all three of these commanders is that they do appear to be two leadership commanders and one engineering commander that seems to be the most logical conclusion to come to based on not only the actual skill images themselves but also what we're kind of expecting for rise of kingdoms moving forward i mean we just got infantry commanders before that we got cavalry commanders and in those cavalry in that cavalry set we were actually supposed to get leadership at that time instead of joan of arc we were supposed to get a leadership set of commanders and we never did and then we got infantry commanders presumably because infantry have been dying for new commanders for so long and they needed them so badly uh and now we sort of would expect archers but I mean archers are in a i'm not gonna lie archers are in a pretty good place right now as far as the meta goes Boudica is insane head is actually pretty good as well especially in rallies ysg is incredible nebu there's a lot to love about archers right now and again they they skipped leadership okay they literally skipped it before so it we are way 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 overdue for leadership now will these be garrison commanders will they be uh rally commanders well there's really not much to say i would assume that justinian would be a rally commander if i were to guess based on what i'm looking at here in the pictures and this is very loose okay but again one of them shows cavalry with spears the other one shows fists in the air and the expertise is the flying of a banner so possibly uh typically you wouldn't have charging cavalry for a garrison commander but i mean it's totally possible okay uh so to me this looks like a leadership uh commander that's either rally 
or maybe just you know generic open field it could be like a honda tadakatsu scenario where it's just like a uh a generic where is he a generic leadership versatility skill commander that's what we could be seeing from what might be justinian if we look at what i'm just gonna call uh isabella she looks like more like she would be a leadership garrison commander so think about theodora none of the skill images show any signs of like aggression one of them is a picture of her holding a rolled up document or parchment or something like that so i, I don't know there's nothing here that really symbolizes anything other than just strong rulership or strong leadership so it's possible that this could be another leadership garrison commander so that's interesting but the commander that i'm most interested in is what appears to be the engineering commander the third commander typically when new commanders come to the game we only see two at a time okay but here we see three images uh three sets of images apparently and the the third one looks like it's engineering and the reason that I think that this commander uh, could be the biggest when it comes to open field and, and having an effect on the game is because of a few things now first of all we have no idea if, if if this is engineering or not we have no idea if these images are real either okay but if this is an engineering commander it could be an engineering conquering commander that's what it looks like to me based on the images we could see an engineering conquering commander uh with emphasis on heavy firepower so possibly skill damage possibly attack tree no idea what's going on there definitely doesn't seem like he would be um a sort of tanky defensive tree uh and definitely not a support so my guess is engineering conquering skill or engineering conquering attack that's my guess for this for this engineering commander but the reason that i think that this commander is going to make the biggest splash when he comes into rise of kingdoms or if he's real and if he comes into rise of kingdoms uh and and really just when engineering commanders come into rise of kingdoms in general is because of the new formation system the v formation here says that only commanders with the engineering talent can use their active skill in ranged mode okay so this is huge by the way because any commander can be put into v formation right you could use v formation for anybody and it turns you into a ranged troop and you can launch ranged attacks but you can't deal your active skill so if you have somebody like Mehmed uh he's never gonna fire his active skill if he's in ranged mode but that's not the case for engineering commanders so if this third commander if this new commander who I'm gonna call Babur is is that he's from the mogul empire empire i don't know if he does come into the game as an engineering commander he could be and he will be he's, he'll be the first permanent engineering commander unless this commander comes in as just a kbk specific one but assuming that he's not he could be the first permanent engineering commander that we have in the game that can actually fire his active skill in v formation and that could absolutely change which formation is the best in the game right now everybody's using wedge formation there's very few reasons to use arch or echelon and pretty much nobody uses anything else maybe hollow square for some garrisons but realistically everyone's using wedge but if this new commander comes in the game with a really powerful active skill and he's an engineering commander who can fire that active skill at a distance I mean that blows the doors wide open as to what the future of open field fighting might look like are we going to start to see engineering commanders who have really powerful active skills that can fire from a distance imagine Yi song a firing an active skill but he's not even close to you he's off in the distance at, at behind a you know behind a pass or something like that right like there's so many possibilities here of you know if this new engineering commander comes in the game if he's got a powerful active skill I mean that could be huge now it also could be the case that his active skill is something like uh Julius Caesar right where it's just a five second powerful buff and honestly that would still deal more damage right a 30 percent damage bonus is huge um so it we really have no idea and his active skill again is a picture of a book so we have no clue okay or at least you know the, the way the images are oriented it looks like the active skill would be him holding a book so it could just be a regular buff instead of him firing massive cannons off like we see in the med skill now of course we do have Torgni and Wafura who are both engineering commanders in a kvk specific game mode but I literally don't even remember what their active skills were I I have no idea I know one of them was an attack commander one of them was a defense commander as far as the skill trees go but I have no I I forgot what their active skills were they weren't super powerful otherwise I would have remembered them I think it was just like single target damage factor or something or damage over time I really I have no idea I haven't been in that kvk in a long time um but th that's the reason why I say this uh new mogul empire commander you know being the first potentially permanent engineering commander 
I mean, his active skill is going to set the standard for how we use V formation, right? If, if he's broken, we might want to start saving our armaments for V formation. Okay. Because he could absolutely change the game. And that, that, I mean, Hey, I, I don't know. The, well, there's something to be said there, right? Because what if you have two engineering commanders, can both of them fire their active skills in, in V formation? I assume that that would be the case. Although we only have potentially at this point would be only one engineering commander anyway. Uh, so I have no idea. Anyway, just to recap for you guys, the first commander could be Isabella of Castile. Where's a Castile? I have no idea. Probably a leadership commander, possibly Garrison. This second commander looks like it would be Justinian the first or Justinian the Great. Also, probably a leadership commander possibly rally although could be open fields or really anything and the final commander looks like our first engineering commander possibly Babur from the mogul empire probably also a rally commander although really i have no idea guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the dupe algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified next time that i upload a rise of king video i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below on these possible new leadership and engineering commanders coming into the game have you seen the images floating around do you know what i'm talking about what do you think of my analysis of these commanders you can also talk to me on discord as well link will be in the description and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace